Welcome to the off season here, off season video part one. As we're back here with the Buffalo Bills franchise, as of course Buffalo won the Super Bowl there in Las Vegas against the Atlanta Falcons, and a nice game here and a huge blowout game, 49 to three. Congratulations there to the Buffalo Bills going back to back as Super Bowl champions, and of course Atlanta. They got a pretty good team there, and I'm hoping to see more of them. Um, well, hope, hopefully they'll keep continue building with the team they have right now, and hopefully we'll see them next season. So let's take a look here. Obviously, this is the time of the season where teams are making some huge changes, uh, and of course, one of those huge changes are your staff moves. And of course, you see here, uh, take a look at some of the head coaching positions there. Uh, a couple, a lot of uh, Jets and. Of course, uh, Jacksonville coaches are going to be leaving and uh, possibly going to other teams. It you know, looks like we've got a couple of different changes here with some uh, coaches uh, from uh, anything, everywhere from head coaches to OC to here you see some of the DCs. And of course, uh, cleaning house and of course, making some moves here to try to get their team to be one step better than they were this past season. I, for the most part here, I think our season... Uh, for season two was really nice and this was a good springboard to see how we go in now season three with the second draft of this series and we'll talk more about that here later on uh so you see uh, coach mcdermott he is going to get a nice extension here he's going to get a five-year uh, five-year contract extension uh he's going to get paid almost close to five million dollars a season there and you see there 49 to 3 is your final score buffalo bills now a two-time Super Bowl champions, of course, Dane Jackson, your Super Bowl MVP. Uh, and there you see our yearly awards. Uh, Dak got the MVP for the Cowboys uh, for uh, overall the just performance for the season. Cooper Cup, uh, offensive player. Aaron Donald, defensive player. And of course, our guy, Hunter Cannon, got Rookie of the Year. So that is nice. And uh, he's going to get a nice upgrade here. As you see here, he's getting a couple upgrades along with uh, Ella, Ed Oliver and a couple other players as well. Uh, getting a nice little boost here uh, for their performance uh, for the season, of course, obviously for their performance there in the uh, Super Bowl. So as we take a look here, we're going to make some changes here. I think the biggest change for us, uh, I'm for this series, I and for really in all my series, I always try to focus on the scheme fit. I want to make sure we get a good scheme fit. Obviously, we're gonna bring. We can't bring in. You know, there's gonna be guys here like, hey, we gotta bring this guy in because he's he's gonna be a really good guy to bring in, and they may not necessarily, you know, fit our scheme set fit. But over time, we'll try to work on those guys to try to fit that mold and be a part of that uh, the scheme fit that we're running uh, as a team. And of course, there will be some slight changes to the playbook here. Uh, I think more so uh, on the offensive side, things I kind of want to uh, get more, do more jet streams uh, with digs. And a couple other wide receivers here that have some pretty good speed uh, for next season. Uh, kind of want to get them involved in the running game, uh, not just in the passing game, but as well as the running game. You see, Alan Th Adam Thielen, he's going to retire after 13 seasons. Ryan, uh, uh, Ryan Sucka, uh, who else? Uh, Shelby Harris, uh, Khalil Gillis Campbell, going to retire after 15 years there with the Ravens. Um, who else? Casey Hayward Jr. Retiring Cordell Patterson, he is going to retire. Uh, Jason Kelsey, of course, uh, he in real life he retired uh, after this season. And of course, Von Miller, look at that big Von Miller is going to retire after 13 seasons and what now, what three Super Bowl rings, two with us, and of course, uh, his first one with uh, Denver. Congratulations to him. Cannot uh, wait to see where he's going to be at. Uh, oh, he's definitely a Hall of Famer. Uh, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame at some point here. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, somewhere down the road here. Uh, Freeman, De 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 Deontay Freeman is going to retire as well. Roger St uh, Staffel, he's going to retire. So that's two positions there on the offense. Uh, on the, one on the defense and one on the offense that we have to change and bring in some new blood. Uh, Sue is going to retire after 14 seasons there. Uh, Joyner, Brandon Graham, and a couple other players as well. But what I was talking about uh, before we get to this here, uh, we're trying to work on scheme fits. And, you know, I'm not going to re-sign every single guy. It would be nearly impossible. Uh, but we, I want to re-sign guys that make sense for us to come back. Obviously, I'm going to re-sign guys that want to come back uh, who 
Uh, I think they're going to be a good fit for us. They want to resign. We're going to resign them. Other than that, other guys that don't have any interest in us at all, not going to resign. I'm not going to worry worry about you. I don't care if they are franchise worthy. Uh, put the franchise tag on. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I'm just going to say, okay, we're going to move on. And maybe uh, once uh, we go into free agency, if they're still in the free agency out there and they're looking for a job, uh, then then you know uh, we can get them at a better at a better deal. Um, and, and, and we can bring them back uh, and that happens you know you're gonna have guys that you're really uh, fond with um, and of course you'll see here in a bit who those players are because I it was tough making the decision uh, you know if, if we're gonna have uh, some of these guys come back because um, I do have a, a, a soft spot for them but um, it is a business and at the end of the day we just gotta make uh, we gotta make decisions that may actually make sense for us so let's take a look here at the third mock draft, and we see uh, Rush there. Of course, he's one of our Holly and Scotty's players, uh, as well as Isaiah Montgomery, who was also in the series there, uh, to, up there in the top five there in the draft coming up here. And to take a look here, as we go down the list, and we'll see where we are at. I believe, of course, obviously going to be the 32nd pick, uh, but we see some pretty good. There's actually pretty good names. Uh, they've run here. You see a couple guys have dropped uh, or, or or actually jump, jumped up or came out of nowhere uh, from the first round going to this, uh, coming out of the second round going to the first round there. Uh, we got some pretty good names. Uh, and for the most part here, I think defensive or offensively, we're going to work on just we're trying to retool and revamp the offensive line. Uh, there's a couple pretty decent right tackles as well as left tackles as well that we can move over to from the left side to the right side there. Uh, Jalen Johnson, yeah, I really he's he's got some interest in for us. Uh, he's 90 overall, but he's going to be asking way too much money there, and I just don't feel like uh, that. Just you know, we I think we can move on from him. I think there's some pretty there's some decent guys out there free in the free agency market as well as in the draft. So we're going to try to do that. Uh, same thing with Gabe Davis. Man, I I love Gabe Davis. He you know he's he's been our, our just a great player to throw to uh receiving wise but if he's out there still in the free agency there then we will resign him uh, of course uh, andy dalton and nick Foles have no interest in resigning uh we can easily resign those guys back if we need if we need to in some case um i've been thinking about possibly um you know signing a player um or going after a quarterback here there's actually a pretty decent quarterback that are undrafted and we'll talk more about that uh, maybe not necessarily in this video. Uh, may see a little bit of talk about a, little, a couple of player quarterbacks there um, in the draft, but it'll be more so in our draft special coming up after this video here. Uh, but Ed Oliver, we go ahead and re bring him back. Uh, Tyler Bass, I really think I'm really truly thinking about just signing him as our punter and kicker. Uh, he'll have both positions there, um, so we can have at least a one more position open up for another for another uh, skills position. Uh, Zach Moss, of course, I had to resign him. Um, you know, he's asking uh, for two mil, or, or th three years for two mil. Uh, I, I had to go ahead and resign him. Tim Settle as well. Uh, and then, of course, uh, you got uh, Espineza there uh, with a nice, uh, decent contract there, one year deal with him. Uh, and, of course, we, we kind of boost up his bonus there uh, for the most part here. And he went ahead and signed as well. So with the changes being made, uh, there was a couple, uh, both our offensive coordinator and our defensive coordinator both left, and I couldn't tell you the names, who those guys were from last season. So uh, as we take a look here, we're gonna make some changes to our OC and DC. Uh, and I think with that being said, I think I might start using those, uh, whatever their playbooks are. So whatever their playbooks are, for, in this case for the OC, we'll run those playbooks. Uh, so for instance, if we get the Jerome Phoebes, uh, uh, he would have the 49ers, uh, I believe the, the 49ers uh, playbook. Um, or no, he would have the uh, Indy playbook. Uh, if we get a DC, you know, uh, if he if he was a DC guy, we would have the Shanahan playbook. So that's the th idea I want to have next season uh, is kind of use their playbooks and uh, change things up when it comes to the offensive and defensive, um, when it comes to, you know, plays and stuff like that and, and customize the playbook a little bit more um, to 
you know, not necessarily to our film, but to uh, something different um, for our team and just have a different look at our um, how we approach games uh, coming up next season in season three. And then, of course, there, there will be a season three. We're going to get into season three. We're going to try to see if we can be uh, we can three-peat this. Uh, but there you see, obviously, some defensive coordinators as well that we're going to go with. Um, so uh, apparently our two, our DC and our OC, I uh, got some better jobs there. So, you know, not going to get upset about that. Congratulations to them. Uh, and hopefully they do better. Uh, hopefully they enjoy their, whatever their uh, new jobs are. But as we take a look here, we're looking at the first stage of free agency here. And uh, there's some pretty good, de decent names out there. As we take a look at uh, some free safeties here, that's kind of our one thing we were, um, besides the offensive line, free safeties are kind of guys. Uh, that we're looking at and one of them is bass uh, if you guys remember from our highland scotty series he's a free agent and uh he is uh you know he didn't really make a i don't think he played on a team this last season but i went ahead and signed him to a deal uh we're looking at also a, at fullbacks possibly nick mays he's got one other highland scotty's player that was pretty well i uh, had a pretty decent uh, you know career there at highland and we're thinking about bringing him as well uh, he has really no interest in us, but, you know, we could definitely change that somewhat uh, if I wanted to um, and uh, try to convince him to come there. Um, but like I said, you know, uh, I'm not going to overpay too many. You know, I may pay overpay one or two guys, but for the most part here, I'm just going to like, nope, we're not going to do it. We're just going to move on. Uh, there you see, um, Wizarding didn't have really interest in us, game. Uh, you know, he got his two rings. He's He wants to go somewhere else, which is, I understand. There's guys that are like that. Uh, Curtis Samuel, a uh, veteran there. Uh, here you see MVS. Uh, he's He has some interest in us as well. Uh, Robbie Anderson has interest in us. Uh, so it just comes down to interest. And then from there, what we can afford in some of those players. Of course, you got veterans like Sammy Watkins, who would be a great player to come in here, uh, be a mentor to uh, towards some of the younger guys on our, on our squad right now. Uh, when it comes to wide receivers and we do have a bit of a gap in uh in our wide receivers you know obviously Diggs is our our go-to guy and of course we got mckenzie um but then after that it kind of you know you know you got a lot of guys that are in the uh lower 70s <coughs> excuse me when it comes to overall so there's a little bit of a gap there and of course we like i said we're going to be kind of trying to work on that gap um either through um you know uh free agency or uh, by way of the draft, because there is a couple of dra players I have been looking at uh, draft-wise, uh, if they happen, you know, uh, to go. And they're not necessarily a need. A wide receiver position is not necessarily a need that we need right now, but it is something that we're kind of looking at um, for possibly in the future. Um, but with that being said, we, you know, some of our needs is really offensive line. I'm um, looking at tackles and guards, as well as uh, the. Um, defensive side of things, we're looking at free safeties, uh, safeties, uh, corners. We're fine with. We got tons of corners that we can go with. Matter of fact, some of our corners could possibly play, drop into the safety position if need be. Um, here you see we got uh, Blankenship. I uh, decided to go ahead and see if we can get him to go there. Uh, Bass did sign, so he is going to be one of our free safeties who's going to be signing with us next season. We didn't have to overpay him. We actually. Uh, since he didn't really play, I don't, I can't remember if he played on a team or not last season, but um, it was a pretty decent deal, fair deal for you know for what he, you know, uh, his numbers he put up last season, and we went ahead and signed him. So he's probably going to be our our number one free safety, and we'll of course obviously, um, you know, try to develop him a little bit more as this he's going to his uh, this will be his second year into the or no. Uh, yeah, this has been yeah. This is going his second year into the league, um, but uh, there you see uh, some of the other players there, some right guards, uh, and then of course we go to fullbacks, and we're looking at some more fullbacks here uh, that we might have an interest in. Um, but you know, I was kind of looking at. I, I didn't want to make too big of a splash or too big of a deal here. Uh, we got about, I think, we're close to about sixty mil in cap uh, i don't want to spend too too much of it i kind of want some of it kind of roll over for next season um because i like i said i want to yeah you we got a couple draft picks we got a couple draft picks in the third round 
and I think in the sixth round. Um, and of course, there I've been looking at really a lot of U, uh, UFA or UDFAs, uh, and there's a quite there's some pretty decent guys there that we can actually kind of work with and try to uh, do some development with. Um, there's a quarterback that I really like from Utah uh, that would be a decent, uh, not necessarily a starter, but a decent backup, uh, second string guy that we can bring in there to help out. Um, I do have plans bringing on back either Nick Foles or uh, Andy Dalton to help out with that uh, veteran role and kind of be that bridge uh, quarterback there for if we do happen to draft or not necessarily draft a quarterback because I don't think we'll be able to draft one because um, I really think this year's quarterbacks are going to be snagged up pretty quickly. Uh, but there are a couple of UFAs, uh, uh, UDFAs out there that are actually pretty decent um, and I think they'll be good as backups. So as we take a look here, we're looking at um, Greg Russo's, and of course we're looking at his fifth year, um, his fifth year uh, uh, option here, and we're gonna say, you know what, we're gonna go ahead and do so. We're gonna go ahead and um, go ahead and pick that up, uh, so we all, he doesn't have to worry about that uh, until next year um, or the year after or something like that. So it'll, it'll postpone his negotiations for at least one more year. Uh, and then from there, we'll figure out what we'll try to do. We'll try to see. Like I said, I want to, some of the money I want to hold back for in, for in case we you know, have a chance to re-sign him. Uh, if not, then have that money for a player that we can bring in uh, in, in the uh, free agency. Uh, but there you see some of the players that have got picked up. Uh, and there's some pretty good changes here with, uh, the, with this year's uh, free agency here. You see a lot of players uh, either going from the uh, AFC, going to the NFC or NFC, going to the AFC uh, and then of course you got some divisional changes as well uh, you got some pretty good shifts here it looks like uh, Indy making a big push uh, obviously had a good run there uh, with their quarterback uh, which is uh, 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 Flanagan from the Highland Scotty series and of course they're trying to make a moves uh, Seattle as well and of course uh, you know that uh, you know that big money down there in Miami they're trying to make a change and a culture change and of course bring some players in as well uh lions of course had a great season in the postseason here in this series as well uh so a lot of teams uh with some money right now uh kind of making those uh you know make, not necessarily big heavy moves but uh making some pretty interesting moves uh for their teams going into next season jalen hurt's going to go to the lions uh so i'm kind of scratching my head on that one there like okay well what are they going to do with Jared Goff? Like, uh, <laughs> is he's out? He's they're going to put him out to the prairie, or or what? Is it, what's the deal with that? So, um, yeah, we got some. There's some some big changes uh, with a lot of uh, teams here, and like I said, season three got to be pretty interesting how things go. Um, you know, with our division, you know, like I said, I think the biggest thing is going to be it's going to be between uh, it's really going to be between Buffalo. In Miami, uh, Buffalo and Miami. You know, obviously, we're making changes to our team, but Miami, especially them, they they've been picking up a lot of uh, different players here uh, that you know kind of uh, match up against us and try to you know be a force in that divi in our division. Um, didn't see too much from uh, the Patriots or from the Jets. Um, of course, Jets did make a couple of moves with a couple of players, uh, signing a couple of guys there, but for the most part here. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. So we did get an offer here for Solomon uh, Kindly there from a different couple of different teams here. And really, truly, there was nothing uh, that had any interest there. And of course, Carl Basham Jr. as well. We had an offer uh, from him for a lot of different teams like the Rams, uh, Jaguars, as well as the Falcons and Tampa Bay. And again, nothing really uh there's nothing really that we're that screaming out to us like hey that, that's a that's a that's a decent trade that's something we need uh because as you tell there we need you know we really need um help with the guard positions both left and right and of course uh, left or right tackle there um but there was nothing there that that screamed out say hey you know uh you these are things that we have uh, is this what you guys need and for the most part here uh, just there was nothing there, so I uh, didn't decide not to make any changes there. We'll go to the fifth mock draft, and this is pretty much the la final mock draft before going to the uh, the draft itself. And Montgomery, he's actually dropped down quite a bit. He's still in the top five uh, that 
uh, Isaiah uh, Montgomery. Uh, he's going to be a very interesting player that I think a lot of whoever gets him, they're going to have a big time player to help their defense out there because that kid, when he was with the Highland Scotties, he was a monster. He was, um, you know, he he did a great great deal of work for us uh, there. It really helped uh, replace the um, the presence of Sheldon Sherman when uh, when you know, of course Sherman. Uh, left and, and of course now he's with the Denver Broncos. So uh, as we wrap up here in this episode here today, that's pretty much the look of season. Um, you know the re, the first part of uh, the off season going into season three. Um, if you guys see anything there you want to know more about or whatnot, let me know down below in the uh, comment section, and I'll try to do my best to uh, to you know find that information and and whatnot. But uh, for the most part, I think this for us, the free agency period, it was really nice. Like I said, I didn't want to make anything, you know, I kind of want the team kind of where it's at. We didn't, you know, we didn't have to re-sign too many players because uh, there was a lot of players I knew. I'm like, hey, from the get-go, I'm like, I'm not re-signing them. I'm letting them go, and we'll just see how things, unless they really impress me going into, um, you know, in the season and they do something out you know, crazy and it's something I have to address and, and like okay hey we have to resign them um other than that and you know not gonna you know not gonna make any uh you know make make some subtle changes here and there but i think for the most part like i said we're gonna try to focus on the draft focus more so on uh drafting uh, some offensive linemen uh you see our draft central there's so strong safety right guard right or left guard as well as i would say tackles as well uh, that's pretty much, I just want to make sure we keep Josh Allen happy, healthy, and upright <laughs> uh, when it comes to our passing game there. So, uh, And, of course, give a chance uh, for our wide receivers to get open and get down the field. Uh, defensively, we're pretty, it seems we're, we're 85 overall or 84 overall. Uh, they're in, in or 84 and offense 85. Overall, we're 84. Uh, so not bad. Not a bad team. Uh, you know, pretty good, decent team. Uh, are we favorites to repeat again? Probably so, uh, for the most part here. But uh, you know, like I said, we'll go into, um, you know, we'll, we've got done with the, the uh, free agency. Coming up uh, in the next video, it'll be a um, mafia sit down video where uh, I'm this year. I'm not gonna try to go. I think last year I think that video was like an hour long. I think we're trying to go down to at least try to get to at least 45 minutes for that video because there's so much to unpack. Uh, when it comes to drafting and what I, my draft strategy is for our team. But I think for the most part here, I think uh, a lot of people uh, enjoyed that one last year that I had. And I'm going to kind of do the same, but I'm going to try my best to get it to about a half hour to 45 minutes of what I want to try to do and explain uh, to you guys the draft process in my head and what I have, uh, ideal, the ideal draft I want to have uh, for this team and try to set this team up to be successful once again going into season three so uh, but yeah uh, that old video should be coming up here probably in the next day or two um I, as i'm i kind of have these videos already kind of planned out already ahead of time i don't know exactly what date it'll be but um, it'll come out soon and of course i'll let you guys know uh through twitter obviously of course uh social media other social medias and of course here on the channel here on ESGN net so again guys uh, thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned for more here on the channel as we gear up for the second draft and get ready for year three of this buffalo bills franchise i cannot wait and like i said the next video you guys will see after this one will be in a, another buffalo bills uh, buffalo bills uh, mafia sit down where it'll be a draft special and we'll talk about the moves that we're going to try to make going into the draft. I will say we'll try to draft. We're going to try to move up in the draft, but we're not going to move uh, as far like we were last year. Like we try to move in the top 10. I think we're going to try to move up for, uh, like mid, uh, mid first round uh, because there are a couple of guys there that I really like to try to get. There's, a, there's two guys. I, there's at least one of the two I can get if we draft um, up in uh, mid first round so we'll try to see what we can do uh with that and more so we'll see that video like i said coming up here in the next couple of days or two but that's it as for me 
Guys, have a great day. Keep yourselves each other healthy, and I will see you all next time. Thank you.